everyone, my name is Glendal Cabanero. We are group 5 and we're here to discuss about the operation of function. Number 1 is the sum. With the formula of f plus g of x. Number 2 is the deference. With the formula of f minus g of x. Number three is the product with the formula of f times g of x. And number four is the quotient with the formula of f divided by g of x. And lastly is the composite. With the formula of F compose of G of X. Afterwards, my partners will be going to discuss about how operation works. Good morning everyone. I am here to present the operation of functions. f of x is composed of x squared plus 2x minus y and the g of x is x squared plus 7x 7x squared plus 5x plus 3. What would happen if we combine like terms in this two? So, we have to combine like terms. Now we have to combine like terms. Since x cubed doesn't have any combined like terms, we have to copy it. Plus x squared plus x squared mm -hmm. x squared plus 9 x squared is 8 x squared plus 2 x plus 5 x Plus the remaining negative 1 plus 3 is equals to positive 2. Now, this is your final answer. Isn't it easy or not? Since maybe you are still confused. So I will give you an another example.
Now we have also to to buy like terms. Now, four x cubed plus three x cubed is seven x cubed. And the second is two x cubed, two x squared. And the third one, seven x. Is that doesn't have any combined like terms. Eleven minus ne negative nine is two. This is now your final answer. Still confused? I'm kind enough to give you another example. So I will give you a third example. Now, we have to combine like terms. Since eight plus three eight eight x cube doesn't have any combined like terms, we simply have to cap it. Five x squared plus 9x squared is equals to 14x squared. Since x doesn't have any combined like terms, we simply have to copy it. And now, negative 6 plus positive 10 is positive 4 this is now our final answer so thank you and god bless i hope you will learn what i have discussed Okay, so today we're going to discuss how to find the difference of operation and functions. In finding the difference of operation and functions, you're going to use this formula, f minus g of x. For example, I'll give you an example of x minus 3 that will serve as your f of x, and your g of x will serve as your x squared plus 
5x plus 10. What will happen next? Simply substitute your f of x and your g of x. Copy your f of x, x minus 3, minus x squared, plus 5x, plus 10. After that, what are we going to do next? Simply, simply substitute your negative, negative sign to your subtrahend. Substitute it in and copy your f of x. This will serve as like this. x minus 3, your positive x squared will become negative x squared. Your positive 5x will become negative 5x. And your positive 10 will become negative 10. What will happen next? After that, you're going to simply add like terms. For, for those who don't have like terms, you just simply copy it. Like the x of square. Simply copy it. And add the five, negative 5x and x. That will become negative 4x. And then the negative 3 and negative 10 to become negative 30. And that will be your final answer. Still didn't get it? I have another example for you. Let's say your f of x will serve as x squared plus 20x plus 100. And your g of x will serve as x plus 10. Same as same as last time, copy your f of x and g of x. 20x plus 100 minus, copy your subtrahem, x plus 10. Afterwards, you'll do the same. Simply distribute your negative sign to your subtrahem and copy your f of x. So, that will be like this, x squared plus 20x plus 100, your positive x will become negative x, your positive 10 will become negative 10. Afterwards, still as usual, simply add like terms. For example, your x of square has no like terms. You will just copy it, and your 20 of x, and your 20 of x, plus the 100 of x 100 a 20 of x plus x that will become 20 positive positive 21 x and your 100 plus negative 10 that will become positive 90 and that is your final answer still getting get it still didn't get it do you? I have last example for you What if you, we get Q? What will happen? Uh, the same as usual. For example, your f of x will become x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. And your g of x will be x plus 2. Now, what will happen next? <coughs> if we copy it, copy your f of x and g of x, that will become x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 minus your g of x, x plus 2. And same as the last time, you simply distribute your negative sign through your subtrahem and copy your f of x. So this is cube plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. Your positive x will your positive x will become negative x and your positive two will become negative two. Same as the last example, you copy like terms. Since x cube has no like terms, simply copy it. Your two of x square has no like terms, copy it still. Your four of x has a like term like terms, x so will happen, that will become negative 3x and your 2 has a like term 2 that will become 0 and that is your final answer thank you, I'm ready to turn on this Group 5
Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary Mark and Isla Lynn, um, row 5, grade 11 says so is to be wisdom. We're done about addition, subtractions. Now let's talk about multiplication. Multiplication of functions. With the formula of f times g of x, that's the formula we're going to use. So, I'll give you an example. So we're going to use a FOIL method. What is FOIL method? So the FOIL method is looks like this. X plus 4 uh, multiplied by multiplied by 2x plus 2. We're going to use FOIL method that so, x times 2x is equals to 2x squared. x times 2 is equals to 2x. Then after, 4 times 2x is equals to 8x. Then after, we're going, we're going to multiply 4 times 2. It's equals to positive 8. We're going to add this one. We're going to add like terms. Here. So, the answer is this one. 2x squared, since it has no, no like term, we're, going, we're just going to copy it. Then, next one is 2x plus 8x is equals to 10x plus 10x. Then, plus 8, plus 1. So, this is our answer. This is our answer. Do you get it or still confused? You want more or what? Well, I'm so kind enough to give another example. Look this one. Our g of x, oh wait, I'm sorry, our g of x is equals to 2x, 2x squared plus 3x plus 2. And then our h of x is equals, is equals to x squared plus 2x plus 4. So, we're going to learn our distributive property. So, what is it? We're going to multiply this way. x squared plus 2x squared is equals to 2x squared. Since we have the exponent here, what are we going to do? The rules of exponent in multiplication, we're just going to add. We're just going to add the exponents. So in this case, x squared times 2x squared is equals to 2x squared. Plus, x squared, x squared times 3x is equals to 3x squared. Oh, no, 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 sorry. It should be 3x cubed. I'm sorry for that. The next one is x squared plus 2 is equals to 2x squared. So the next one is 
this, the 2x. 2x times 2x squared is equals to 4x cubed. 4x cubed. Then, next one, 2x times 3x is equals to 6x squared. So, lastly, 2x times 2. What is the answer? Okay. 2x times 2 is equals to 4x. Then, the remaining one. 4 times 2x squared is 8x squared. Then, 4 times 3x is 12x. Then, lastly, is 4 times 2 is equals to 8. So now, we're going to add the like terms. What is the like terms? So here, 2x4 has no like terms, or has no, has no, has no like. So we're just going to copy this one. 2x4 plus 4x cubed plus 3x cubed is equal to 7. 7x cubed. Then, 8x squared plus 6x squared plus 2x squared is equal to 16x squared. Plus 12x and 4x is equal to 16x. Plus 8. So, this is the answer. 2x4 plus 7x cubed plus 16 16x cubed plus 16 16x plus 8 This is now our answer. Do you get it? Or still want more? Just tell me. Okay, let's have another one. Our f of x is equal to one fourth plus another is equals to two x plus two. Then our h of x is equals to four x squared four x plus one fourth. What are we going to do? Since there is a fraction. I know you're afraid of that. Don't be afraid. It's just a number. Okay? Okay, let's solve this one. Since we have used the fall method, the distributed property, now let's use um another one. Okay. Since there is a fraction, what are we going to do? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's rephrase this one. This should be thing. Okay. To be more easy. To be more easy for you to understand. Is it okay? It's not um let's let's build a limitation um let's not go beyond the the limits okay so you will understand more clearly and easy okay 4x plus uh times 2x is equals to 8x squared 4x times 2 is equals to 8x then 3 3 times 2x is equal to 6x. 
Then lastly is 3 times 2 is equals to 6. Okay, let's add this one. 8x squared plus 14x plus 8. Ah, no, no, no. This is 6. Okay. We have the answer. This is the answer of this equation. Do you get it? Well, actually, um, that would be all for now. Just follow our link and visit our web page so you will get more another one. That would be all. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to present about coefficient of function. Before we proceed, let's review. Quotient of function, it is a type of operation of function that consists of three different methods. The first one, sample number one. Factorial method. Formula. The quantity of f over g times x. Ato, the value of fx x squared plus 20x plus 100. And the second one is g of x x plus 10. Let's solve it. x squared plus 20x plus 100. Let's factor out. Over 30. And then, cancel out. This is the answer. So easy. Second one is systematic. Synthetic method. Sample number two. Quantity of f, f over g times x. So values are f, x squared plus thing equal x plus 1 to 1. So values of g, x plus 11. Let's use synthetic method. Copy out 11. 1, 22, 1, 2, 1. Bring down 11, I want. 1 times 11.
Hi, my name is Christian Rico Galbot and I am group 5 and grade 11 section 2P Wisdom CSS. So I'm here in front of you to talk about composite functions. Okay, the formula of composite function is this. F composite of G of X. That is the formula of composite function. The next, I will give you an example, three examples so that you can get it how to solve composite function. First is this. to x squared plus 4x plus 20 and the g of x is x plus 1 so this is the first example then <laughs> okay since g of x is this equals of x so let the x be the x plus 1 so we can if we can solve this x will be the x plus one and we will we will solve this one by one first is so x is equals to x plus one since x is equal to x plus one then simply we can copy the we can copy the x plus one since there is a square so we can 
like this square on the top since plus then 4x since again x is equals to x plus, x plus 1 so copy 4 then parenthesis x plus 1 then plus copy the 20 then since there is a um, square root in the top so we can double it that x plus 1 so first is copy the x plus 1 and then times x plus 1 and distribute it or we will learn the foil method so we can get the answer first is x times x equals x squared x times 1 equals x since x is visible by 1 then 1 times x equal to x again then 1 times 1 equals 1 so we, we will combine it so x squared plus 2x plus 1 get it then to the next since 4 4 times x plus 1 so we can distribute it to 4 so 4 times x equals 4x yeah. then 4 times 1 equals 4 so wait there's no x or variable so we can simplify so simply copy 20 and then we will combine like terms okay. For, since x squared is the only one here so copy the x squared then 2x plus 4x are same are same variable so we can add them so 2x plus 4x it equals to 6x then 1 plus 4 equals 5 then plus 20 equals 25 and f of x no no I mean f composite of g of x is equals to x squared plus 6 plus 25 this is the final answer. Did you get it? No? Okay. Let's have another example. Same formula. Okay f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 17 and the, j and the g of x is equal to x plus 2 since, since the g of x is equal to x so we can let the wait wait Let the x be the x plus 2. Since our x is x plus 2, copy our f of x is x of squared plus 3x plus 17. Then substitute by x substituted by x plus 2 so x plus 2 square root of 2 plus 3 x plus 2 copy 17 then we can so we can divide it out no we can multiply it by the square root 
x plus 2 times x plus 2. Then, four methods so, so that we can get the answer easiest. Okay. Oops. x times x is equal to x squared. x times 2 equals to 2x. Then 2 times x is equal to 2x. 2 times 2 equals to 4. Then combine x squared. Then they are same like terms or so we can add them. 4x plus 2x is equal to 4x. Let's simply copy the 4. Then, since 3 times x plus 2, so we can distribute the 3 so that we can get the answer. 3 times x is equal to 3x. Then 3 times 2 equals to 6. Then copy the 17. So combine like terms so that we can finalize the answer. Okay. f of x is equal to so x squared. So combine the like terms. 4x plus 3x is equal to 7x. Then 4 plus 6 equals to 10. 10. Okay, wait. 10. Plus 10. Plus 17. So we can combine it. 27. So x squared. Plus 7x. Plus 27. So this is our final answer. Okay? Get it? Okay, last example. So that you can get the answer and how to solve composite function. Okay, the third example is this. f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 3x squared plus 9x plus 2. Then the g of x is x plus 4. So, as usual, g of x is the x. So, let the x be the x plus 4. So, we will proceed to the solution. Okay. Since x is equal to x plus 4, so we can transpose it into this. Okay. 3x times x plus 4 cubed plus x plus 4 squared plus 9 x plus 4 then copy 2 since there is cube root so we can multiply it by 3 so first is copy the 3 then times it plus 4 so 4, x times x is equal to 
x squared plus x plus x times 4 equals 4x then 4 times x equals 4x again then 4 times 4 equals 16 then combine like terms x squared since 4x plus 4x is same variable so we can combine it so it will be 8x plus 16 copy the 16 so there is one x plus 4 because cube root so we can multiply it by 3 okay distribute it so x x squared times x equals to x cubed then x squared plus times 4 equals 4x squared then 8 times 8x times x is equal to 8x squared then 8x times 4 is equal to wait 32 32x then 16x 16 times x is equal to 16x then 16 times 4 is equal to 64 then combine like terms since x cube is no same or like terms copy the x cube then 4x plus 8x are the same exponent so we can add them okay 4x cube uh, 4x squared plus 8x squared equals 12x squared then 32x plus 16 is 48 48x since there is no variable and whole number so we can copy the 64 then solve the next okay distribute the 9 to the x plus 4 so 9 times 4 is 9x 9 times x rather is 9x and 9 times 4 equals to 36 so then copy the 2 Combine like terms, oops, I forgot the x plus 4 squared, so we can, we can get that later. We will combine it first. x squared, x cubed, I mean, plus 12x squared, since 9x and 46x is the same variable, so we can add them 46 46, I mean 48, not 46. 48 plus 9x is equal to 57x. Then add the whole number. 64 plus 36 is equal to 100. Plus 2 is equal to 102. Then we will, we will get the x plus 4 times x plus 4. I will erase it so that you can solve the x plus 4. So, this is the x plus 4 squared. So, since we're gonna solve this by a foil method, so x times x is equal to x squared x times 4 is equal to 4x then 4 times x is equal to 4x then 4 times 4 is equal to 16 combine like terms x squared since 4x plus 4x is the same so we can add them so it will be 
8x. Copy 16. Then I will, I will write here the here so that we can combine like terms. Plus 6 squared plus 8x plus 16. So the final answer is this. Since x cube is no same like terms, so we can copy this x cube. Then x squared plus 12 x squared, we can add them so we can get 13 x squared. Then 57 x plus 6 8 x, so we can add them. It was 6, 65 x. Then the whole number 102 plus 16 is equals to 118. So, so this is our final answer. Did you get it? So please watch and watch so you can learn how to solve composite functions. And thank you for watching. My name is Christian Eric Ugalbo. Thank you. Hi friends, this is Gabriel Cynthia Malalat, one of the members of Group 5 and I am hoping that you have learned something in this video. For more videos, follow us at youtube.com slash raymark.greatness. Once again, this is Group 5 and see you next time.